Hello, welcome back. Right, today we're going to be having a look at a puzzle by the brilliant setter, The Void. We had a look at uh, The Void's puzzle recently. It was uh, very good indeed. Do have a look at that video if you missed it. But uh, here is today's one. The link is in the description if you'd like to give it a go yourself. Okay, this is called Et in Arcadia Ego, which my A-level Latin says, and in Arcadia I. I don't know what that means. Perhaps it will become clear. Right. Um, clues are under the, under the puzzle, so we can't really see them at the same time, but um, they appear up here as well, so hopefully that will be okay. Right. Roots of ginseng with addictive spreadable foodstuff. Now the roots of a word is the first few letters? I don't know. Um, Pate? I don't know. Technically, isn't forfar occasionally taken as a port? So maybe like alternative letters of the phrase technically isn't forfar. Uh, I'll get to that. I need some letters. Paint romantic piece that sets the scene. Right. Bad start today. Gaul of old Greek character cycling by wall's end with energy. Now, old Greek character is usually a Greek letter of some sort, isn't it? But there's 20 odd of them to pick from. Wall's end. That's in... Um, that's in the northeast, isn't it? In uh, Newcastle Way, where the end of Hadrian's Wall is or was. I don't know. Took out surplus, caught by editor. C for court, ED for editor. Took out. Reportedly travelled by horse to Lane Road. So, sounds like. Reportedly means is a sounds like. If you say travelled. By horse, R O D E out loud, it sounds like road, which is a lane, or a lane is a road rather. Dispel risk or own forgery. Now, this looks like an anagram of risk or own. I suppose dispel or forgery could be the anagram indicator, and the other one is the definition. Mm. So, what's it going to be? Right, so come back to that. Grown giddy to injustice. Could be an anagram as well. Injustice. No. French O level include name in border. Don't know where to start with that one. She has something that hurt Norse Queen. Can't think of any Norse queens immediately. Military leader also retreating from Magaluf. The Arga, that's a military leader. Yeah, I like that. The also is saying, I think the also might be saying that it's um, in there in plain text, but also it's in there quids. Could be, very clever if so. With a change of heart, serene woman left student a design for some phones. Serene woman, what would that be? Woman is sometimes W, left L, student L. No. Nice zero G floating spot. That looks like an anagram of nice zero G, doesn't it? Spot. Recognize. Recognize with a Z, I think. Oh, I don't like typing <laughs> typing American spellings, but I think that's what it is. R E C. Seems to be, doesn't it? Oh well. 
grown giddy to injustice. Long. Should have got that. That is an anagram. That's an anagram of grown. Giddy is the anagram indicator. And then an injustice is a wrong. So this one begins with O. Oh, she has something that hurt. Norse queen. I just don't know any Norse queens. With a change of heart, three women less student designed for some phones. Um, heart, uh, serene is calm. Now with a change of heart, we're swapping around the letters in the middle. Calm. Shell. Woman is she. L for left. L for learner. Student. Clam shell. That's a type of mobile phone, isn't it? Weave together play with Electra in. Play with Electra in. I do, but I don't need to know anything about plays. Singers dispense with hard, husky stuff. Right, so this is going to be singers, and we take out the letter H for hard, like in an HB pencil. It could be choir without the H. I don't know. Revolutionary asked to take one out with varying degrees of success. Che, it's an obvious revolutionary. Asked to take one out with varying degrees of success. Don't know. Space professor is looking at in the smallest aspect. The smallest aspect. Awesome. Tragic queen overperformed. Au contraire. Overperformed. Overperformed. Um. We can think of a way that uh, Dido is the answer as the tragic queen. Over can be O. Oh, it is. It's Dido. It's did. Over is O. And then did is performed. And then O contraire is saying backwards. Yes. I don't know what the uh, title is um, talking about, but I'm sure we'll work it out. Relaxed with topless coquette and duke. Well, there's our D for duke. Eased. I don't know what coquette means. Yanks have penny cut from benefits by judge. Yanks fools. Um, this is tough. Dog breed, organisation based in Channel Islands. Yes, got one. Org, sort of organisation, CI, as an abbreviation for Channel Islands. And a corgi, that's um, famously the Queen has corgis. Catholic, that's C. Woke and partied. Yeah, woke is aroused. Put that with the C, get caroused, partied. This looks like eased then, doesn't it? Coquette. This coquette is obviously something, and then there's ease with another letter at the beginning. I don't know what though. Ah, oh, checkered. Varying degrees of success, checkered. So it's queried, to take, and then take one out, the I for one, Roman numerals, queried without the I, with che, checkered. Very nice. That gives us... Oh, I wonder if that Z is there. Just this Q makes, whenever you see like a Q or a Z in a crossword puzzle, you wonder, is it a pangram? That's a puzzle containing every letter of the alphabet. It could be, it could be, and that could be why that's spelled with a Z. Right, so bear that in mind, we could be looking out for, we've got a W, could be looking out for an X and a J. This one, judge. Jerks. Oh, yes. See, that's the benefit of 
thinking about pangrams because I, you know, I was looking for a J and suddenly it occurred to me that we had judge in this one and that's J and then it's perks without the penny P. Ganks, jerks. Adjust, adjust danced again. Rejig. A jig is a dance and if you do it again you do rejigging I suppose. And um, yeah, adjust is rejig. I think we can safely put an N in there. Examining chaotic state of Gus's vinery. That looks like an obvious anagram, doesn't it? Examining. Surveying. I guess it's a V as well. Yeah, so that's an anagram of Gus's vinery. Vinery? Vinery? She has something that hurt. Norse Queen. Don't know, sorry. French O level. Include name in border. French. It's all this one. It's an diagram of risk or own. Forgery. Dispel. This spell, um, no, no, don't go. Weave together, play with Electra in. I have no idea what play has Electra in it. Weave together. Let's uh, go back to this side of the grid then. Southern supermarket is exclusive. Southern is usually S. Supermarket. Little Aldi, Asda, they all fit. Uh, the word Sazda means exclusive, I don't know. All right, drink with Limber Beggar. One. Body fat of American gent half forgotten when faced with dessert. American gent. Not a clue. Gibbons units of inheritance is size. Units of inheritance is size. Mass. Units of inheritances, would that be something like genes? Gene? No. Song, Sheeran, broadcast. Sheeran, so that's Ed Sheeran, presumably. Song. Song. No, don't know. Aussie bird disturbed hot sailors with charge. So that could be H sailors. Uh, that gives us eight letters and then charge C for charge in physics. So it could be an anagram of H sailors C to give us an Australian bird, which is um, I don't know. Australian bird. It's not an emu. Kilbara. Um don't know. Developing place where daughter and ship jumper married. Ship jumper. Is that castaway? Uh, 
Developing place. Dark room, that's a developing place. Oh, it is. That's very clever. D for daughter, arc is the ship. Ru is the jumper, a kangaroo, something that jumps, and M for married. Dark room. Wow, that's a great clue. I wonder if I aired here, A I R E D, because it sounds like Ed, but perhaps not. Space Professor is looking at the smallest aspect. Space. Space can be an N, E N. End. What was this one? Give its units of inheritance is size. Given. We've got a D here then. Body fat of American gent half forgotten when faced with dessert. Body fat of American gent. No idea. Southern supermarket is exclusive. Supermarket. Hmm, I don't know that one. So this one probably begins with S. Sup supplicant? No, it doesn't fit. Sup. I, I don't know. Paint romantic piece that sets the scene. Wall of old Greek character cycling by wall's end with energy. Oh, wall's end could be S. So it might end S E. Yeah. Hmm. So old Greek character, it can be six letters. D e something E. Hodge, that's body fat. American gent. G E, uh, gent half forgotten. When faced with dessert. Pudge, could that be something like that? The of America, body fat of America, so just looking for an American word. GE is gent, but only half of it. Pud could be dessert, I suppose. Pudge, pudge, I don't know, it could be, it looks plausible to me anyway. I reckon this is sup then. This sup. Limber. Pliant? Suppliant. I reckon that is probably a word. Suppliant. I'm going with it anyway. Gibbons. Units of inheritance is size. Gibbons. No. This does it like Ed. Broadcast is Ed. So song shearing. Oh, sorry. It's so easy. <laughs> You know how you get so caught up in making it more complicated than it needs to be? It's just a song is an air, an ed for Ed Sheeran, and ed broadcast. Simple as that. So what is this Aussie bird? Sailors HC. In fact, we've got a T. So it's not that at all. So disturbed hot could be T-H-O. Ah, yes, thorn bill. That sounds like a bird, doesn't it? Disturbed hot, an anagram of hot. RN, Royal Navy, that's the sailors. And then the charge is the bill. 
Seeing as dispense with hard, husky stuff. I reckon it is choir then, without the H. I don't know what that means, but... Oh. Well, it may be wrong, we'll find out at the end. The smallest aspect. Oh, it is end. It, en is a space, like in typography, and en is a, a type of space, or a size of space. The professor is probably a don. Is looking at the smallest aspect, end on. I suppose, end on. End on. Oh, I see. If you're looking at something end on, you're looking at the smallest face of it. Like if you're looking at, a, I don't know, a, a pencil or something end on, I suppose you're looking at the smallest view. I th maybe that's what that's getting at. It's a, it's a good one, isn't it? Right. Given units of inheritance is size. Largeness. Largeness is size. Largeness. Units of inheritance is gibbons. Oh, there's our genes there. G-E-N-E-S. Gibbons. I don't really understand the rest of that. Let me know in the comments how that works. Weave together, play with Electra in. I don't know if I'm going to get that one. Okay. Okay, made some progress. Roots of ginseng with addictive, spreadable food stuff. Lard, let's say. Um, what are we missing from our pangram then? X. Roots of ginseng. I want to say that's maybe GI or GIN. Uh, no, roots is the last letter. And it's G G H E E, the last letters of these bits. Ghee, that's a, is that a, is it butter in Indian cuisine? Ghee, I think so. Some sort of butter, I think. Technically, isn't for far occasionally taken as a port? I think it's Haifa. I think if you start on this H here and do every fourth letter, is it? You get H A I F A, Haifa, which is a port in um, Israel. Yeah, well, that's very, very well constructed, isn't it? Paint romantic piece that sets the scene. Ah, hidden drone sets a piece that sets the scene, and look, it's just hidden in paint romantic. So a piece and saying it's a piece of that. And in it drew sets the scene. Very nice. Took out surplus caught by editor. Ah, now remember the pangram. A surplus is an extra, isn't it? So it's really, really useful to spot that you've got a pangram going on. So that's our X. Extracted, probably. Surplus is extra. Court is CT in cricket, like on a cricket scoreboard. And an editor is an ed for short. Extracted, took out. Good. All of Greek character cycling by Wall's End with energy. Old Greek character. I suppose the old could be old, and then the Greek character would be five letters. Yes, Greek characters aren't necessarily old, they're still used today. So, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, zeta, eta, theta, iota, kappa, etc. Alpha. Oh, I just don't know. What's this? Southern supermarket is exclusive. Southern 
Southern Supermarket is exclusive. Do you know? Weave together play with Electra in. Now, are we missing any letters that are going to help? Have we got, for example, a K? Yes. A Y? Don't know. Don't know if we've got a Y. Dispel. Risk or own forgery. Learn works? Oh, forgery. Oh, that's clever. Iron works is our anagram. That is very clever indeed. And a, a forge is a, an iron works, and a, so a forgery is possibly an iron works. That's what the question mark is getting at. And it's an anagram of risk or own. Very nice. Very good. Weave together. Interlace. It's got to be, isn't it? In to lace. Play with Electra in. Oh, it's just an anagram of Electra in, and we're playing with the letters. It's very clever. And there was me panicking that I didn't know any plays. It's nothing to do with a play. Uh, again, brilliant setting. So you know, it's that misdirection. But um, you know, as soon as as soon as the the light bulb goes on, it's obvious what's going on. That is, that's the, the art of brilliant setting. Right, French O-level, include name in border. French, that suggests FR, doesn't it, at the start? O-level, include name, frontier, frontier. So that is FR for French, O for O. Level is a tier, and inside that we're putting N for name. You might see uh, the letter N used as an abbreviation for name in some contexts. But uh, yeah, look out for that in crosswords. That's very common in crosswords. She has something that hurt Norse Queen. Owner. I'm not sure I'm going to get this one. Oh. Ah, oh, see, again, I was saying earlier, oh, I don't know any Norse queens. You don't have to. It's something that is our. Norse is N, I guess, like the, uh, I suppose, the language in a dictionary. You might see N meaning Norse, and then queen is E-R. That gives the owner. She has something. The owner has something. So, yeah, ignore my idiotic ramblings. Right. Southern supermarket is exclusive. We should get this. Supermarket. It's exclusive. Store? No. I don't know. Do shout at the screen. I'm sure this is obvious. Wall. Of old Greek character cycling by wall's end with energy. I suppose the S doesn't have to go there, does it? Gaul. Oh, I don't know what the um, Et in Arcadia bit was referring to. Oh. I've just spotted something in the grid. That's interesting. Oh! Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, we're not finished yet, but um, yeah. And in the arcade, me, I. Look, what we've got across the middle here. Pac Man. That's an arcade game, isn't it? Pac Man. I think there's some others here as well. Can you see them? Sure, I can. But I bet there are. But yeah, look, Pac-Man. Fantastic.
I'm going to take out that S, it may not be right. Scroll of old Greek character. Southern supermarket is exclusive. It's got to be S for Southern. What's a four letter supermarket? Mm. Co op. See if I can spell it. There we go. Yeah, so it's co op. Southern is S. Co op is our supermarket and then exclusive. It's not exclusive in the sense of like um, an adjective, it's a scoop. And then, like in a newspaper, it's a big scoop, the exclusive. Okay, last one. Bad apple. That's it. Um, Gaul of old Greek. Cycling by wall's end with energy. Well, let's write bad apple in and see if anything happens. Now, I'm guessing I th the method will be displayed if you have filled the grid correctly. Oh dear. Gaul. Have we got a Y in the grid anywhere? Yes. <sighs> Gaul. I just don't know this one. I like apple. Gaul. Old Greek capital. So it could begin with O. O for old. Let's write apple in and have a look. Greek character Kappa. It could be Kappa, so that would be K A P P A, like that. And then, oh, oak apple. Oak apple, is that a phrase? Apparently so. Wow, we did it. Game over. Insert coins for more credit. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, that was an amazing crossword. I, I really like how the void writes puzzles uh, and clues. They, uh, it's just that perfect, that perfect amount of misdirection. Not too hard, but uh, really, really satisfying to solve. And um, yeah, I believe there's usually a, a blog post on the void website explaining all the answers. So I'll link that in the description below. Do click on that and have a look. And yeah, thank you, The Void, for sending me this puzzle. Fantastic. Can't wait to see what you've got next. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time for some more crosswords. Bye.